The humble milk bloat. How's that for some nostalgia? Do you see what I mean? <laughs> This is Wendy Davis, the fastest milk woman in the West, the Buckinghamshire. And for the best part of 100 years, her family have been delivering milk in a fleet of battery-powered floats. The high average speed of the electric vehicle cuts delivery costs, especially as easy starting and rapid acceleration can be relied on at all times. So if you go to this house behind you, Hannah, that one, yeah. there's two pints of silver top. And if you're a proper milkman, you'd put them all in one hand. Oh, OK. Oh, I'm clearly, clearly not a proper milkman. <laughs> well done. Thanks. You could My have a job, delivery. but you need to be quicker. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Wendy and her team deliver over two million pints a year to the good people of Prestwood. Each float powered by 48 lead-acid batteries. Well, they're easy to work on because you can get to everything. Yeah. You know, so you just lift the sides up, everything's there. This is Pete. It's his job to make sure that these floats never run out of juice. Oh, they're massive. Yeah, they weigh about half a tonne. <gasps> sat there and half a tonne on the other side. So both batteries packed together, about a tonne. They're made from alternating plates of lead and lead oxide immersed in sulfuric acid. Like Volta's battery, a chemical reaction strips electrons from the lead to produce electricity. But unlike Volta's battery, connecting it to a power supply puts the electrons back again, which means the battery can be recharged. Every night after they go out, they come back 12 hour charge ready to go the next day straight away. You, they'll do about 40 to 50 miles on a full charge. Not they, very good escape vehicles. No, you, were, you won't get away. you're on the run. <laughs> you, won't be, you won't be able to use it as a getaway. <laughs> no. It's interesting, I think, that, that Electric found a home in milk floats yeah. where it wouldn't work elsewhere. Well, it's just, it's just because they're so basic. There's not a lot that can go wrong with them, really. Um, this one could possibly do with the lick of paint. Well... No offence. Yeah, they could. Electric floats like these proved such a success that by the 1950s, Britain had the highest number of electric vehicles anywhere in the world, thanks entirely to our 70,000-strong fleet of milk floats. Electric had found its niche. It was absolutely perfect for this very, very particular purpose. It found its home, but across everywhere else, petrol was still really dominating. Cheers. I think this is one that's been left out in the sun. <laughs>